What up folks, I am Ultrazilla and today I have a review of the Playmates Toys Godzilla vs Kong Mega Punching Kong. That's right my zillions, the other mega figure. This is a 13 inch giant figure of Kong from GVK and boy is it a good one. I, I really like this figure, I think it's really cool. And that's it, see you later, have a good day. Thanks for watching. Peace out, peeps. I'm kidding. Uh, please keep watching, please. Uh, as you can see here, we do not have um, the turntable at this station, this big guy station. So I'll, I'm just giving you a little turn around there uh, <laughs> to start off with, so you're not bored. But you know what? This is awesome. And really, like, um, I'd rather just get right into the review because, yeah, look at him. Kong comes with a little soldier guy, like a really, really tiny little soldier guy. I, I don't know why. Like, there's actually detail in here. It's not bad, uh, but <laughs> I, I don't know. Like, put him in his mouth if you want. Um, he's not gonna be able to hold him very well, but like it seems tiny in the hand. I don't know, guys. This is uh, something that is totally going to be lost in seconds. And, of course, he comes with his Axe Club thing that we'll find out about. That I, By the time you see this, I probably already know what this is about. <laughs> um, but it looks good. You got blue paint here on top of this, like, brownish plastic. It's a little bit soft. But, you know, you got bone here and what? Dorsal fin? I don't know, you know, um, yet. I don't know uh, at the time of this recording. Uh, but it does go in his hand very well. He holds it nice. You know, you got to push it up a little bit. So he's just got a good grip on it. But, yeah, it's not bad at all. So there you have it. Articulation on this Kong. His head moves. His jaw moves. Yep, it, it is articulated and you can move it. So that's cool. You got hinges at the shoulders. And it goes outwards, which is nice. Powerful. Moving my whole table here. Uh, as you can see, those are huge ratchet joints. He's got hinges at the elbows. And you can swivel those as well. And you can swivel his wrists. Which is good. And, uh... You can swivel his feet. Now you could, it looks like you can swivel that as well, but not really. And I say not really because that's the gimmick, right? It's a mega punching Kong or some sort like that. You, you know what it is. So this is, uh, reminds me of Power Punch He-Man when I was a kid. So you're gonna be, why not open his mouth? Activating the whole gimmick. It is a light and sound thing by oh doing that so that his eyes lit up red he's got the punching gimmick we go from this way position the arms as much as you want boom could really knock out godzilla let's uh let's let's see how that works out <laughs> well, <laughs> you get it. He's not going to actually knock him down, but it works out. It does. And I think the lights look cool. Got some red eyes, really mad Kong. Look at that again. I think there's another way to do it. Is there a button? There is a button back here. Okay, so let's just do the let's do that and see how that goes. So we got him real close up. Oh, so it's a different roar there. That's cool. Ah, nice. Ah, oh, honestly, he's got a few. So he's definitely got more than Godzilla. So that is pretty awesome, guys. I really dig that. And in 
full. That gimmick is cool. I love these power punching type of things. So, uh, yeah, that's awesome. So proportions on this guy are really, really nice. And quite possibly the best Kong, um, you know, cheap Kong that I've seen have these type of really great proportions. Like... You know, I'm not talking about the Star A6 Plus stuff, um, you know, and the upcoming Monster Arts we can't speak of quite yet because it's not in hand. But I, I really think that looks awesome. I don't feel like the legs are too short. I, as you know, if you've watched my Kong reviews, I always, you know, mention how big or small the legs are. I feel like they're just right in comparison to the arms. And the head doesn't look too big or small. Like, if you look at it on the side... The you know, that's a good silhouette. It's just perfect uh, in those regards. So yeah, proportionally, this is really nice. And starting our closer look, let's uh, start with the head sculpt. It is awesome. I really, really like it. The only problem I have is this uh, one little chip in the paint on his tooth. That's easily fixable as soon as I get like, find a color like that looks like that. It's kind of like a beige-ish looking color. My wife has a ton of acrylic paint here so um that won't be too hard to match but that's about it i'd say as far as you know there's a little paint you know overflow onto the lips but it's very 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 slight it's not like a ton um and that's gonna if i'd rather just cover up that little hole there you can see the tongue is painted in red and the upper mouth is as well and then again you can close the jaw and when you do it gives you that look of uh, the the teeth like going upwards here and over here the overbite it looks awesome it really looks good I really like I think this is definitely Playmate's best head sculpt for Kong that they've done it looks phenomenal I'd say the uh, another weird thing is I think the paint well or the plastic well I don't know if it's paint or pla if this is the plastic I think this is the plastic doesn't quite match up with the rest of the body but. If you look at it the way, you know, they painted it down here, the um, the paint does vary, and that looks closer to here, so maybe it's just supposed to be like that. Like, if you look at this side, actually, it blends better. This side, not as much. So you can see there is some sort of painting issue going on here where, actually, now I'm looking at it, it's glossy on this side and not on this side. So maybe it just got messed up paint-wise. It's very hard to tell what's happening here. But this side looks glossier than this side to me. And it is. So that's a bit strange. Uh, however, the sculpt, it doesn't change the sculpt. The sculpt is phenomenal. The paint... You know, it is definitely a little bit different on each side. I'll see what I could possibly do to save that because, man, this looks good. I really, and I mean, his real, his face here is, let's get, zoom in again, is really, really good. And the paint is really good all around here. And the eyes look good in black. And you saw them in red and they look good there. But look at all this detail in there. And the beard looks good. I love Bearded Kong. I think it looks great. Uh, and then you come down to his chest here. Zoom out, and uh, that's looking good. You can see all the texture in the chest. That looks awesome. Again, these are, you know, the scarring is just painted on. It's not, it's not um, sculpted in. I wish it was, but it's not. I mean, and with all the sculpt work, you know, they couldn't have done that. It does look good, though. I, it does look really good. Um, I like the chest a lot. Of course, you get the voice uh, cuts there, but that's fine. And then the rest of it, um, it doesn't have any, like, wash on it like we've seen before, but it does look pretty good overall. Uh, there might be a little bit here, actually. There is. There is paint variance here. It's in the body here that I don't see any. But the legs look like they do have some, and it's a nice sculpt, nice furry sculpt. Yeah, you can see it. There's paint variance there. Uh, and then the arms have it as well. Those look, that looks pretty good. The fists are painted well. Oh, sorry, Kong. Uh, painted really well. They look good. This one as well looks nice. This holding hand. 
The arms look really good. On the back, you do have all uh, the buttons and screw holes that are covered, though, again. But this time, they look great. Unlike Godzilla, where they didn't, these screw holes are covered very well, and it's the same color as the plastic. So, kudos there. That worked. <laughs> so, you did good there. Kong butt looking good. They didn't cover the screw hole, but you needed to open up for the battery. And uh, the button is very well worked in. Even the joints are sculpted. Even the joints are sculpted, guys. That is phenomenal. Even these joints here. Um, that is tremendous, in my opinion. That is tremendous. The legs look really good, as I said. And the feet look good nice paint on the feet good variants you do see this color again here on the hands the feet that you see in the head so i'm guessing that color is supposed to be like in there like mixed in but at some spots i feel like it's just i don't know <laughs> too much maybe on the head so or they just forgot to paint it because you see it's like this color and then this color so i don't i don't know what they were doing with the head um it's bothering me, but at the same time, man, this is such a good-looking Kong figure in total that, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I care. For your size comparisons, here is Kong with a bunch of other Playmates Godzilla vs. Kong figures you might have in your collection. And just to show these two on their own, as you can see, I think they scale pretty well. Kong is just a tad bit smaller than Godzilla, but he's wider, and from the looks of everything in the trailers, uh, that seems to be the case. And my final thoughts, I really like it. Uh, I really, really do. It just looks so good as far as the sculpt goes. I love this head sculpt a lot. My one issue, well, two issues. First, I got the little chip in the tooth. Uh, on the paint there and then I got some weird like paint variants in the head um, That looks a little odd to me, but overall the sculpt is phenomenal And uh, there is a lot of paint on this guy like at first I didn't see it But like depending on the lighting you can really see how much Actual like paint is like strewn into the sculpt and that's pretty awesome. So they Playmates has done really good in that regard for most of this line, especially with the Kong figures. I think they are painted really well, but I feel like they've, you know, given even more effort to these mega figures. Not only do they have lights and sounds, uh, but they do have accessories um, and uh, extra gimmicks, and they, they really went all out with the paint and the sculpt on them. So I think you're really getting a great bang for your buck and they're 30 bucks each. They are Walmart exclusives, but man, I do recommend them. I think they're awesome. So there you go, guys. Uh, that is my review of the Mega Punching Kong. He is a, quite a stunning figure in my opinion overall and a, a fantastic representation of Kong. You're not going to find a better one at this price point. 13 inches with all that I just said for 30 bucks. Nope, not going to find it. So there you go, guys. That's my review. Hope you dug it. Let me know your thoughts below. And if you please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Stay safe. Keep the spoilers to a minimum in the comments for now. Uh, Till next time. Peace out, guys.